23, Ballon d'Or, France, football, footballer, is Lionel Messi. Renowned sport journalist, Fabrizio Romano, has been accused of ruining the 2023 Ballon d'Or suspense. Ride with me to the finish as we delve into this matter. On October 30th in Paris, France, the 2023 Ballon d'Or award ceremony was over. In the end, it was Ballon d'Or number 8 for the Inter Miami and Argentine football superstar Lionel Messi, who was rewarded for his World Cup heroics with Argentina. 23 Ballon d'Or France football footballer is Lionel Messi. But the excitement didn't stop there. Several other noteworthy awards were presented, including the Copa Trophy, claimed by Real Madrid's talented midfielder Jude Bellingham, the Gerd Muller Trophy, awarded to the Norwegian Manchester City forward Erling Haaland, the Socrates Award, won by Real Madrid's forward Vinicius Jr. for his commendable efforts in the fight against racism. After the ceremony, some football fans have deeply expressed their grievance and annoyance towards sport journalist Fabrizio Romano, accusing him of ruining Ballon d'Or and football signing suspense. A man on Twitter says as follows, Fabrizio Romano ruined football. First he killed off all those surprise signings that would all shock us. Now he's revealing the results of forwards. Like the Ballon d'Or before they're even announced, I'm actually over it. What could has prompted this lash out? Prior to 2023 Ballon d'Or award ceremony, winners of this prestigious award are kept secret leaving people and fans to guess. Sadly a week before the anticipated award ceremony, Renowned sports journalist Fabrizio took to his social media handles to disclose that Messi will win the 2023 Ballon d'Or War. Messi, it was the historical season of the World Cup won with Argentina, but from what I can confirm, we are he tweeted, Leo Messi is expected to win the Ballon d'Or 2023. Understand that all the indications are set to be confirmed, but Messi will be the final winner once again. Official decision to be unveiled Monday night in Paris, it will be Messi's historical win. Not only that, fourth day to the award he disclosed that former Chelsea striker Didier Drogba will present the award to Messi. His tweet reads, Didier Drogba will give Lionel Messi his Ballon d'Or number 8, it will happen on Monday in Paris. Adding to that, a day before the award, he reinforced his claim that Messi will win the award he said. Lionel Messi will be announced as the Ballon d'Or winner tonight, his Ballon d'Or number 8. As expected, all the predictions happened exactly as said. This infuriates some as they accused him of ruining the suspense of the award. Check out some people's reactions to this accusation. A user threatened to unfollow him by saying, Yeah. He's started reporting the results of games now. Before I've had a chance to watch them here in Australia, there's only one solution. Unfollow. Another user reacts as follows. This was well known since December, so I don't think he ruined it. Transfer I would say maybe because the world of the internet we live in. We are like 75 to 80 percent the where who's going to join who even if Fabrizio doesn't inform us. Supporting Fabrizio a user said. Block him then. Do you cry about all forms of news, it's not his fault they get leaked. He finds stuff out from people who shouldn't be telling him. It's their fault not his, if he didn't leak it someone else would. Rallying around Fabrizio, a user said. No football ruined. He's just reporting what he gets told. People involved in clubs and agents are leaking info about everything. These are just a few of the many reactions. So I am asking my audience their views. Do you agree that Fabrizio ruined the Ballon d'Or sustance? Let us know in the comment section below and don't forget to like and subscribe.